Hi, this is Jonathan from the Cinch Contact Pro team here. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into handling emails in communication panel. Emails are routed in the same way as other conversations via one or more queues. I've been assigned to four different queues, the top one being for emails, and I see there's currently three emails waiting. I set myself to ready, and I'm offered the email which has been waiting the longest. If I decline, it's pushed back into the queue for another agent. But let's accept this. Now we have the customer email open. I can see there are two attachments here. Clicking on the paperclip shows both of these attachments. I can click on the name to open the attachment directly. If I want to download one or more of the attachments to my own computer, I can tick the box next to each and then click download. I now choose where I want to download the files to and choose save. Now let's write a reply. Reply templates can be added automatically by your administrator to make it quicker to reply, like adding in the signature here. I can add in attachments to the email reply. We already have one attachment, which is the image in the email signature. We can click on the plus sign to add in more. Let's choose this bike accessories PDF and add it in. You can also click on the cross next to each of these attachments to remove it. If we want, we can also add in the original attachments from the customer's email. We click on these three dots and choose include original attachments. Reply templates are an easy way to greet customers in a standard way each time or insert answers to frequently asked questions. We click on the reply template to add it in where the cursor is positioned. We can edit the style of the email. For example, changing the text to bold, fonts, sizing, positioning, and also color. Before sending, we can also choose a different sender address if available, or add in CC or BCC addresses. Looks good, so let's send this email to the customer by clicking send. The email's now closed, and we're taking back to the customer's original email. As this issue is handled, we can mark it now as handled. We're now in wrap up mode, allowing us to finish anything related to this email, such as making notes. Here's an automatic timer for the wrap up. We can also just close this ourselves. We're now offered the next conversation in the queue automatically. But in this case, I'll set myself to not ready. Now let's look at the pick list. The pick list shows all of the digital conversations which are either in queue or pending. These could be emails, WhatsApps, or SMS messages. I see a couple of emails, both of which are in queue. The pick list allows you to read through the conversation in advance by clicking on the row. Then, if it's something you think you can answer, you can click pick to pick it for yourself. Now it's added to my conversations here. We can go back to the pick list and choose more conversations to handle. So let's read through this second email. Notice on the left, there are actually three different types of conversations. My conversations are the ones which you are currently handling. For example, replying to an email. When you click pick, it's added to my conversations. If someone transfers you a conversation, it's marked as pending until you accept it. Also, you might set an email to pending if you're waiting for more information before continuing. There are also viewing conversations. These are conversations you're just reading through before you decide whether to pick them. Let's pick this second email, and now we've got two emails under my conversations. We can also forward the email. We can do this in a couple of ways. If we want to forward the email to a specific email address, we can choose forward. Here we add in the email address in the to field and click send. So that's one way we can forward to a specific email address. Let's just close this down. Another way to forward is to use the search bar down the bottom. We can search for a queue or a specific user. In this case, a user called John Smith. Let's open this other user so we can see what happens there as well. Now let's transfer the email to them by clicking transfer. We can see the email is now being offered to the user on the right of the screen. 
If we open the pick list, we can see the email is pending and that it's been transferred to John Smith. Let's continue this email handling with the other user. We see the incoming email being offered. As before, if we decline it, the email is pushed back to the original queue. But let's accept this. We've now got one email open. However, if we're waiting on more information, we can mark this as pending like this. So now if you look on the left, it's shown as a pending conversation. Also, if we open the pick list, we can now see this email here as well. The email is marked as pending and it's being handled by user John Smith. But let's take this back for ourselves. We'll pick it and let's continue this email. As soon as we pick it, it's moved again to my conversations. We can use a reply template to answer. With reply templates, you can also preview before you add it to the email so you can see what's going to be inserted. Then we can click copy to move it into the email. This looks good. Let's send this email. And as this is finished, we can mark this conversation as handled. Behind the plus button, we can create net new conversations. So let's create a new email. From this pop-up, we can change things like the sender's address if we want to. We can add in the customer's address in the to field and also change the reply template used. We can also add in that information later as well. Then we click OK to start writing the email to the end customer. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.